Hi, this is Mo Glover, and I'm here with the beautiful and talented Elle Varner as B.B. King on Valentine's Day 2017. Yes, yes. <laughs> I have to say, I'm just going to ask you because I know I'm a little embarrassed, but I'm a big fan, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to make you my Valentine in my head. Is that okay? Okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Sure. Okay, so now we're in New York City here mm -hmm. um, on Valentine's Day. Yes. Um, I have to ask. Yeah. 2017, the year is beginning. Mm -hmm. What does love mean to you? Love for me is uh, very focused on self-love at the moment. And that doesn't mean that I'm not sharing love and giving love. It just means that I'm the first priority um, and... Like, people will come and go, but you have to keep that self-love 24-7 every day of the year. So what do you do to actually love yourself? What are the things you do to Um, like, I just do little things. Like, I take baths, you know, dramatic. I'll light candles and go through the whole thing. Um, I give myself time to myself, you know. I don't let anyone really too much be in my head or like there has to be some personal space for me um, and the other person has to respect that. So do you find um, as far as centering, mm -hmm. um, is it alone time that you're able to do that or is, do you have a, is there a higher power that helps oh, yeah. you with that? I mean, definitely God. Um, gratitude, just being grateful will always help you feel better about anything. You know, you wake up in the morning, you think about the things you're grateful for. If you can't think of anything, I woke up. Yay! Or make something up. And, you know, uh, but quiet time, definitely. You gotta and unplug. Don't be on the phone all day, checking every second with this person and that. It's, it'll drive you crazy. It used to drive me crazy. And then I was like, wait a minute, this ain't no way to live. So I just kind of, I'm in the moment as much as possible. Do you find that you're more creative? You write better yes. when you're not when you're plugged when you're not when you're unplugged. Yes, I mean, like when I wrote the songs on Perfectly Imperfect, I didn't have a lot of friends. Um, I wasn't going out. I wasn't really in the industry. No one knew me, so it was just every day going to the studio, working on music. In high school, I didn't really have a pop in life. I was I was working for my dad since I was like twelve. So I'm used to that commitment, that level of commitment. I think anyone who really makes it, God only knows how much Beyonce puts into every performance, every album. I mean, you don't see her out and about. She's, you gotta conserve that energy so you can give it back to the people. So as, as, as an artist and a, and a younger woman, mm -hmm. um, are you ever concerned with not being on trend or do you think that, you know, you organically... I love not being on trend because <laughs> I love setting a trend. And it took me years to, to get that I am a trendsetter because I don't care. I'm not like going against the grain just because I'm just doing what feels natural to me. And that a lot of times happens to be not maybe what everyone else is doing. And I think this is a great time for individuality. You see a lot of people embracing who they are. Do it. It's, it'll, your life will change. You know, just whatever you want to do. If you're a guy, you want to wear high heels. I don't know. That's the thing now. I, I, just, I hear it all. Take that part out. I don't know. <laughs> Do you but, have like any like motivational um, quotes or ma mantras that um, maybe help you get through the day, or something that you could maybe um, you know advise a young woman who mm. um, you know maybe feels like um, you know she doesn't really have faith in what she's doing, but it's something she really wants to do, like something that helps someone get up in mm. the morning. Mm. Do you have any of those? Yeah, I mean, you have to believe in whatever it is that you're trying to do with your entire being even when there is no trace of what your dream is in sight when you can't see it 
you don't hear it you don't you got to feel it and watch it start to come to you and you have to be willing to let go of things that are holding you back um, I've come across a lot of young women lately who have said in, in different ways, oh, my boyfriend doesn't want me to do this, or I would, but I don't know what, and, and I hear it and it hurts my heart because I'm saying, girl, unless this man is saying, I want you to be my wife and I want to provide for you until the end of my days, I'm not listening. <laughs> I'm doing what I want to do. I, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm independent and I don't need a man. I'm just saying that I've, there is nothing more gratifying than knowing that you can provide for yourself and that at the end of the day, you're gonna be good no matter what. That's peace of mind. That will take every experience you're in and make it a little bit better when you know that. And it's you have to fight for that. I didn't just wake up and just know, I lived. I went through BS to finally say, you know what? I ain't mad at you, but my peace is important to me and I ain't doing it today, sweetheart. That's so this thing, um, you know, you have to, in order to receive something, Mm -hmm. greatness you have to go through a lot are you mm. grateful for the things that you've gone through oh my god i'm so i don't think i would be as whole and complete because it's like yin and yang you have to have light there's no light without the knowledge of darkness you don't know what to compare it to so i wouldn't change any of those days that that's built character that's built strength within me so, um, you know, there's a book that I found while I was going through a tough time that my grandmother left for me. She passed away years ago, but it was called Simple Truths. Um, <clears throat> something about like getting through life's most difficult times. And it said, if you can be poor with grace, you can handle almost anything life throws at you. And I said, you know what? It's true. If you if you really think about it, some of the happiest people on earth don't have a big house and a big car. I used to think that was so important. I had a Porsche. I had this. I had that. Oh my God! I never have to ride the train again. Like that's an accomplishment. Now I'm like, when I'm walking to the train, that's my time to clear my head listen to some music, I'm on the train, I read a book, and I just, I'm so grateful for the littlest thing. Damn, I'm getting emotional. Me too. But I, <laughs> it's true, I, I only appreciate those things now. Um, I could have easily become bitter and felt like I deserve this and that, and I don't. I'm just grateful every day. Whatever happens, happens. And, and something my dad imparted to me recently, like, because we don't know what to expect, you might as well expect something positive because you never know. So why not think that it's gonna go well and expect it to go well? Because it won't always. But I had one more thing, one, th I'm gonna post this later on, I think, but I said, um, I don't believe in being ready. I believe in being prepared. Because there's no such thing as ready. How can you be ready for what you don't know? But if you're prepared, prepared here, here, it becomes. That's, I mean, <laughs> thank you, I love that. I need that too, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, please post that. I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So great. <laughs> you too. <laughs> okay, Thanks.